Hello everybody, I've made a few zines, one is called Lair of the Frog God and the other is called The Barrel of the Stone Progeny. Both are RPG dungeons and they are in the description if you want to check them out. But the reason I bring them up is because the maps that were made inside them were made using a specific workflow that I've developed myself. And I'd like to share that with you today. I'll be putting an itch link to everything you need to have to follow along in the description below including a Photoshop template file, a Clip Studio Paint template file, and brushes for both. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, this is for Clip Studio Paint. So firstly, you want to make sure you're selecting the Walls Layer Mask. That's this uh, square icon over here. You want to use the Figure Tool, which is this um, thing over here. And you can start making rectangles and you can start actually making a dungeon. And as you can see, uh, there's this blue grid that lets you line up stuff really easily. Uh, you can turn that off and on and preferably when you're exporting the dungeon in an image format you want to actually turn that off but yeah it's really easy to make dungeons like this really really quickly part of the reason i like this more than dungeon scroll or something else is that i'm able to actually carve away the shapes uh, by hand using the eraser tool and i can actually use all the features of my image editing program which is very nice so as you can see i can do that really quickly if I wanted, I can have like round corners or something like that. Or I can even make it a cavern. So as I said, the itch link also includes brushes. So you can select the cavern walls brushes and just go crazy with it. And you can make a cavern really easily using this. So everything about this is basically customizable. You can, for example, go to the ground color here and you can modify it. Let's say you want a different color, you can do that. Uh, I'm gonna leave it just about where it is previously but you can also modify the background color as well so you can change that up in addition to that there's also ways to actually do hatching automatically with the template file provided I've included two uh, hatch textures one is called hatch and the other one is called noise so just make the one you want visible select the airbrush make sure that you are using a black color and you can just start drawing out uh, the hatching marks really really easily using this and it saves a lot of time for me i like to actually do a lot of the hatching manually uh, i find that I, I just enjoy it it's a therapeutic process but i'm aware that a lot of people don't like doing it so this is an option for you i made the hatch texture pretty seamless so it works pretty well and on top of that you can also add more details to the top of things so let's say uh yeah you had like something interesting over here you can just use a regular brush and you can just start drawing over top of this and pretty quickly you can make something that looks pretty good you can even like select color and actually draw over it and you can add all sorts of fine details you can start adding maybe some pillars over here uh, maybe like an altar over here and that's why I like this process a lot it lets me go really fast and use a tool that I am comfortable with and have pretty good results pretty fast so that's how to use it in Clip Studio Paint for Photoshop it's not all that different uh, the one thing that you want to make sure of is that when you're using your shape tool that this part here is set to pixels not shape pixels that way you can draw inside the mask make sure that you're choosing a white color and you can basically do pretty much the same thing that you did in clip studio paint so i'm also going to be offering the same brushes and everything the airbrush works in pretty much the same way and yeah pretty much everything is the same you can customize it to your heart's content and once you're done you can just turn off that blue grid and you will have a nice map remember that this is just a template and this is supposed to help you be more creative, not take away from it. Uh, you can do a bunch of neat tricks, like for example, you can take this color and you can like make it a little bit darker and you can start actually coloring in on the ground color there and you can actually start drawing in shadows. There's a bunch of things that you can do uh, and you're only really limited by your imagination. I feel like this is great for people who enjoy drawing dungeons but don't necessarily enjoy all the parts of it or want to do it really quickly like this is pretty good for that nowadays i like to take my time with my dungeons and stuff but not everybody has time for that you know so 
So I was hoping something like this tool will be able to be a time saver for some people and for other people who are more used to drawing programs, it might be able to help them ease the transition a little bit. On top of that, you can even use stuff like gradient maps to actually give it a different look and texture. I like how this looks, quite classic. And yeah, you can make something like this really fast and easy. And it's all non-destructive, so you can turn it on and off. Oh, one thing I forgot to show was the other hatching style. So, so for this particular texture, you want more of a gray and that uh, helps give this grainy look to it. And if you have your own textures and know how to actually place them or patterns in Photoshop, you can actually make your own textures for the walls. Like I said, the limit is basically your imagination here. There we go. And you can of course switch to different hatching styles and try out different things. Actually, if you're in Clip Studio Paint, you can even unlock the hatching layers. And for the hatch texture, I made it so that you can actually scale it up and down. But I would highly, highly recommend that you really make your own textures. And I might make a video on how to make seamless textures for stuff like this in the future. But yeah, for right now, I think we're basically done. If you would like to support me and what I do, please subscribe to the channel. Maybe buy something from my itch page. This template is pay what you want. You can donate if you want to. Don't feel like you have to, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. What I would also really like is that if people like it to actually review and rate it on itch, that really, really helps out. I made it pay what you want because I love the idea of helping people be creative more easily. So I do sincerely hope that this helps out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.